Hello everyone, welcome to a special edition of Tommy Media's Tommy Chalk Talk from the Amos Alonzo Stag Bowl in Salem, Virginia. My name's Tom Pitson, joined by Tommy Media Sports Editor Jesse Krull. So Jesse, you can see this wind is blowing. How do you think this factors into tonight's game? Honestly, I think it's going to help the Tommies a little bit because obviously we have Jordan Roberts behind that big offensive line. And not to say that Mount Union doesn't have a running game, but they I just don't think it's as strong as the Tommies. Obviously, they got a dual threat quarterback and a running back that's pretty strong. But Roberts is probably the best running back in the nation. He leads all NCAA levels in touchdowns. And I think he's second or third in the NCAA Division Three. So it's going to be great to see what this running game can do for St. Thomas with a weather like this. Yeah, and St. Thomas really wants to control that clock and keep the ball away from that dangerous Mount Union offense. We think of Therese Scott, we think of Logan Namath, we think of those receivers on the outside. St. Thomas can control that possession and keep the ball in their hands. I think it bodes well for them. Yeah, exactly. Like I just kind of touched about is that Roberts running the ball. If you keep on feeding him and giving him maybe 30, 35 carries like he's used to and against uh, Linfield where he broke his season single rushing record, that's going to be huge. And obviously, Mount Union has those wide receiving corners. They're able to kind of not throw the ball. Obviously, they're going to test the wide receiver or test the DBs, excuse me, and throw to the wide receivers. They're going to be able to stop them because of those it's probably not going to be a huge impact, that passing game, if the wind keeps up like this. And St. Thomas's defense, really, I don't want to say they came out of nowhere this year, but we mentioned the zero preseason All-Americans and guys moving positions, three new starters, seven different positions. Now's, a, any, now's as good a time as any to reflect on this season for St. Thomas, and specifically that defense. Well, I'm not going to say that I'm not surprised, but... They had three new people start, three new people starting, seven new people in new positions. That's huge. Obviously, I had a lot of confidence in this time he's team coming in, but I knew the defense was going to be lacking just a little bit because Sean Hamlin, you got Kyle Coymus and Sean Hamlin, a bunch of other people. Um, Josh Corbett on that defensive exactly. line, Rutger Heffelfinger, an all Mayak inside linebacker. Exactly. You lost leadership from all three levels of your defense. St. Thomas came back this year and really surprised everyone. Yeah, it shows their determination too because obviously you don't, on the offensive side too, you don't know where Roberts came from. Obviously he comes from a Division One program, but that, that doesn't really mean anything when coming to Division Three. You don't know how the competition's going to be like. Obviously he started in this offense. Uh, the offensive line, we kind of knew there were going to be a little a, a big effectiveness to this offense because when you got someone like Dave Simmett and Stephen Sauer, who literally, Stephen Sauer stepped in for TJ Woodrow after three years of just behind him. So that's huge. And now when you step up and you have that determining factor, having that offensive line and the huge running back and that defense that steps up, it's going to be huge for this team. And you're going to be able to see it tonight in the last game. And this is a rematch of the 2012 game. Interestingly enough, the last time Mount Union took home the Division Three championship was on this field in 2012 against St. Thomas. So it's a little bit it's a little bit of a redemption game for both teams. Mount Union dropping the last two stag balls and St. Thomas getting back to this point after two, two relatively speaking down years. Missing the playoffs one year and then bowing out in the first round last year. We kind of touched on it too. Um, I don't want to say Jack Kaiser is a bad running back, but that was our starting running back 2012 after Brendan Braddock went down. Kaiser is a phenomenal running back, but I won't put him on the level as Roberts, obviously. Um, I would say our wide receiving core was pretty good too. We had Dan Ferrazzo, Dan Neri, and everyone like that. Our wide receiving core is matching up really well with that one. Um, our defense too was pretty well. That's what kind of got us to the championship. You have that strong defensive line and Michael Alessano in the linebacking core. Um, but this team, you can just tell there's an aura about it too this season. When looking at these teams, obviously Mount Union has shut out plenty of teams and held two teams to negative rushing yards, which is phenomenal. But when you look at St. Thomas, it's kind of like, they're here. They're, they're going to be able to push it, and they're going to be able to push this Mountain Union team, and that's what the sense I'm kind of getting. Glenn Crusoe mentioned plenty of times, whether it be in the locker room, whether it's in postseason or postgame news conferences, that he didn't exactly do the best job in his own mind at this 2012 game. I got to believe that him and this St. Thomas team, he and the St. Thomas team, will learn from its mistakes in the 2012 game and give Mount Union a run for its money. Well, yeah, obviously, if you're going to a new city in a new situation, it's going to be tough, obviously. When I first came out of Tommy Media, my tech stories probably weren't the best because it's my first time doing it. So when you're doing first time for anything, you're going to have some screw-ups, you're going to have some slip-ups, little screw-ups and little slip-ups too, like where do we go out to eat, where do we sleep, how do we, you know, it's all that little stuff. But now they got it under their belt, and now some of these players, the seniors, the freshmen that came to Salem know what it's all about. And obviously, if this team wants to be successful in the future, this is a great experience for underclassmen, the freshmen, the sophomores, and then the juniors. Should be a great game tonight, Jesse. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun. Well, that's it for Jesse Kroll. I'm Tom Pitts, and be sure to check Tommy Media for full coverage of St. Thomas Sports. And if you have a question or comment, tweet it to at Tommy Media. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check Tommy Media for full coverage of the Stag Bowl.